Okay, let's have a little calculator tip now. This is the calculator that they let you use on the GED. This is the only one. And if you take the online test, when you hit the calculator button, it pulls up this calculator. So learning these keys will also help you with that calculator. Now, this calculator is equipped with what they call math print. And if you press the mode button where it gives you all these settings, you see that math print right here is the default selection. Now, what that means is when you put things in here, it gives you an exact answer instead of an approximate answer automatically. Now, what does that mean? All right, let's look at the square root of 12. If I enter, and to do that, I'm gonna hit second, 12, enter. Now you see for an answer, it gave me two square root of three. That is the exact answer. But what if it tells me to give a decimal? Well, the way you change this to a decimal is this little button right here with the two arrows going back and forth. If you press that, see, now it tells me 3.4641, and it actually goes on and on. That's why this is called the exact answer, and this is the approximate answer, because this is actually rounded off. All right, now let's look at what it does with a fraction. If I enter three-fourths, and the way you can do that is three, hit the ND button, and then the four, and then if you hit enter, it just keeps showing you three over four, three over four. Well, what if you want that change to a decimal? Same button. Hit that button, and now you see you have 0.75. And then the same thing with, say, pi. If I enter three pi and hit enter, it just shows me three pi because that is the exact answer. If I wanna change that to a decimal, same button. Now it's gonna multiply 3.14 on and on and on times three, and I get 9.42477. So you would just round it off wherever the problem tells you to round, okay? And that would actually be a five, there we go. So this is the button right here that we're talking about, and it changes exact answers into decimal.